Howdy gang, in today's episode of Pool School, I am going to teach you about skimmer diverters. What are they? What do they do? Do they really work? We'll find out. Alrighty, before we go any further, I want to thank you for watching this video. I also want to remind you to like this video if you do, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already, and please, please share this channel, my channel, with your friends, families, co-workers who own pools and are looking to save a buck or two servicing their pools themselves. So I'm going to take you back to one of my pools and we're going to show you what a diverter is, what it does, and whether or not I really think they work. Alrighty gang, so this my friends is a diverter, okay? So a diverter is basically what it says it is. It diverts something. What it diverts is water or it diverts suction from your skimmer. If you notice the skimmer here, there's the two holes there. And remember if you watch my video and understanding the suction side of your pool, and if you haven't, I'll put a, a link to that video in the description of this video so you can watch it and I suggest you do. But you notice there's two holes. Most pools nowadays have two holes like this. One goes directly to the pump. It's the suction that sucks directly into the pump, okay? The other one goes down to the floor drain, which is down there in the middle, it's the center of the pool, okay? And the diverter, what the diverter allows you to do by using this little flap right here that slides close and open, okay? It allows you to divert suction from the skimmer to the floor drain, okay? That's theoretically what it does. And it has this little float. I don't know if you can see the float in there. If you look inside there, see that little thing clanking around? There's a little float that's inside there. And it sits inside this piece right here. And that float, just basically floats and it, if you get too much suction it closes so that I don't know I, I just anyway that's what that is so that's what a diverter is it sits down in the bottom of this skimmer okay so put it down in here and that's where it goes so theoretically if you use it right by closing off that little flap underneath there it will allow some of the water suction to be diverted to the floor drain, okay? And that is pretty much how it works. Honestly, this is the only pool I have that has one. And one of the reasons it does is because it has an in-floor pop-up cleaning system, all right? So that is how the diverter works, all right? One thing that I will make note of, actually, I won't yet. We're going to talk about, do these really work? Theoretically, I guess the answer is yes. They can, in fact, create some suction to the floor drain of the pool, which is why this, which is my only client who has one of these in their skimmer, actually is in their skimmer sump, all right? Theoretically, it works a little bit. Understand this, though. When you start taking away the suction from the skimmer, you're going to reduce the efficiency and effectiveness of your skimmer, okay? And another thing to keep in mind, I've mentioned this before, water seeks the path of least resistance. So if you notice, that floor drain is on the bottom of the pool, okay? And the equipment is, sits about pool level or surface level. So what's happening is you have to divert enough suction from the skimmer to create enough pull to actually draw water up from down there, which means it has to fight gravity. And if water takes the path of least resistance, you're gonna find that your skimmer is gonna to continue to get a lot of the suction, unless you close this off completely or a lot, in which case you will lose a lot of the effectiveness of your, of your skimmer. Another thing to keep in mind is this piece right here and the little float that's inside there. There's a little float right there you can see, okay? That float eventually wears out and then it just sinks and it sticks to the bottom there like that it just sticks and then you get no suction to your skimmer so for what they're worth i personally don't think they're that effective and really unnecessary now with that said something to keep in mind this pool has an in-floor pop-up cleaning system you notice how well it works it really blows a lot of dirt and a lot of water around in the pool okay so for this pool, 
they do use it and it seems to work okay in in helping keep the pool clean all right but you'll notice also over there on the on the in, on the corner there in the side on the, let me see if i can zoom in let me see um okay so there's a bunch of debris there and theoretically that that suction to the floor drain is supposed to um pull that in here's the problem floor drains nowadays have to have such small openings to protect kids which is a really good idea from getting their fingers stuck in there or anybody else that you don't get enough you, the, the big debris doesn't go through those openings okay it restricts that so personally if you have a in-floor pop-up cleaning system the diverter actually theoretically could be beneficial but again you are going to compromise the efficiency and the effectiveness of your skimmer because you're diverting some of the suction at best to the floor drain and away from your skimmer now if you have a stay in the pool vacuum like a barracuda g3 which is my favorite or like the pool cleaner as i've described those both in other videos then you really don't need your floor drain to be functioning you can continue to have all your suction and keep it to the skimmer and then the dedicated line of your vacuum or if you use the vac mate in here you can then split it and not and, and direct the rest to the vacuum your vacuum will vacuum up the debris and the dirt you don't need the floor drain to be draining okay now there's one other reason i have heard even though i don't agree with it that you have a diverter somebody told me one time that it can prevent the pool from getting too low. So if your pool level drops below the skimmer opening, this slams shut, causing no suction to be going to the skimmer, so it just starts pulling from your drain. And so theoretically, you could drain your pool that way. I do not agree with that. I've talked to my pool suppliers out here, and they scratch their heads and go, we have never heard of that. Problem is, this is not an airtight seal when it goes down in that skimmer pump, even though there's a little black O-ring there. You're not gonna get an airtight or watertight seal. So when your pool water drops below the level of your skimmer, and it starts trying to pull from the floor drain because of the, because the verter is theoretically supposed to be helping it, you're gonna be sucking air, and it's not gonna prevent your pool from running dry. It just won't. So somebody might not agree with me, but that's been my experience out here and the experience of guys that I buy my supplies from and they've been in this business forever, okay? So if you don't agree, that's great, but that's my take. So gang, that is a diverter. A diverter diverts suction from the skimmer, theoretically, to the floor drain so that your floor drain functions and does its job. Um, personally, I think it's fairly inefficient. It's fairly ineffective. It's been my experience that way. Some of you may feel otherwise. Also, um, if you have a stay in, in the pool vacuum, you don't need your floor drain to be working. Um, maybe at best if you have an in-floor pop-up cleaning system it might help a little bit but remember anytime you take away suction or divert suction using the diverter to your floor drain and away from the skimmer your skimmer is not going to work as well as it could or should so my personal take is i would say nix the or i have nix the diverter and Use your adjustment for your vacuum, if you have a vacuum with a splitter, and I've talked about that before. Or maybe use one just if you have an in-floor cleaning system. But other than that, I just don't think they work that well. Also, as I said before, there is a theory that this, that diverter can prevent the pool water from, from drying out if it drops below the skimmer level. and pulling air into your system so because the diverter the little the little float drops down and creates a seal if you will that doesn't allow any air to be sucked in from the skimmer because it diverts all the suction away from the skimmer and down into the floor drain um, and theoretically i've heard one or two people say 
in comments that that allows you to prevent your pool from running dry and damaging the equipment should it drop below the skimmer level and you could actually use it to drain your pool. I have never experienced that. I've never seen it work that way. I've talked to people out here in Arizona, people who run pool supply companies, the people I get my stuff from, and they've all scratched their heads saying they've never heard of that. The problem is that that little float this, that little diverter does not create an airtight seal and so you're still going to get air. So don't use a diverter to drain your pool or lull you into a false sense of security that it's going to prevent your equipment from overheating and getting damaged should your water level drop below the skimmer opening. So anyway, that's my take on diverters. Um, they are what they are. I'm not a fan of them. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below or you can always email me my email is going to come across the bottom of the screen here it's kennypoolschool at gmail.com once again kennypoolschool at gmail.com so once again i want to thank you for watching remind you to like this video if you do subscribe to this channel if you've not done so and please share it with your friends and remember swim season has started we are in triple digits out here in arizona and we have excessive heat warnings for the weekend so people are in their pools so whether or not your swim season has started please remember this have fun be safe and always 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 watch those kids and elderly people and pets around water and i will see you next time bye bye